Hello and good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Olivia Parsons and in the news on this Tuesday, October 9th. President Trump's ambassador to the United Nations, Nikki Haley, just announced her resignation. The former South Carolina governor has served since January 2017 and will leave at the end of the year. She does not have any future plans, but says she won't challenge President Trump in 2020 and will support him. If you want to vote in the upcoming midterm elections this November, you must be registered by today. Bill Cowles, who has been supervisor of elections in Orange County for 22 years now, says UCF students with driver's license can register online at theregisterdovote.org through 1159 tonight. Anyone in the UCF area who wants to register in person can do so at the Alafaya Branch Library located at 1200 East Colonial Drive through 9 p.m. Floridians will have a packed ballot this year with elections for U.S. Senate, Governor, and State Attorney General, along with 13 proposed constitutional amendments dealing with a wide range of issues. Cowell says recent events have shown the importance of participating in the democratic process. The hashtag Me Too uh, campaign, I think, has really sent a message out to the students. Uh, I think they've seen a lot of events over the last year that probably are good events to show them that why they should be involved uh, in the election process. For us UCF students, there will be early voting on campus at the Live Oak Event Center near Farrell Commons in 63 South from October 22nd through November 4th. If you register in time, you can vote on Election Day November 6th at your polling location, which you can find by entering your local address at ocfelections.com. UCF Victim Services is hosting different events throughout October as a part of Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Last night, Victim Services hosted its 13th annual Light Up the Night as a way to pay tribute to the remembrance of the lives lost due to domestic violence and to help bring awareness to the dangers. Resources available on UCF campus were set up for students and staff at the event. Guest speaker Audrey Mabry shared her story of survival from a violent past relationship that eventually put her in a coma. There was also a ceremony for an empty place at the table held in honor of those who have lost their lives that had ties to UCF from a violent partner. Coretta Cotton, UCF Victim Services Assistant Director, says it's important to continue hosting this event because domestic violence is a problem here on UCF campus. Dating violence is a problem on our campus. We see the cases all the time in our office. Um, whether a student reports to the police or not, we see cases where people just come in or they call our hotline. So if it continues to be a problem and so we have to address it. UCF Victim Services next event will be the sexual assault mock, mock trial held November 5, 2018 in the Pegasus Ballroom. Former UCF wide receiver Traquan Smith helped to break the longest NFL passing record with Drew, B Drew Brees. This happened last night during the second quarter of the New Orleans Saints versus the Washington Redskins game. Brees broke Peyton Manning's career passing yards record of 71,940 yards with a 62-yard touchdown pass to Smith. New Orleans and Smith took the victory 43-19. Students are finally able to enjoy their study breaks now that temperatures are cooling down. Today, students were able to lay in the hammocks and enjoy a cool breeze after months of temperatures being in the mid-90s. There was some light rain, but not enough to keep the students from enjoying their lunch outside. It was slightly overcast this morning, but the sun is still making its way out for a beautiful day. Students can enjoy outdoors. Hurricane Michael is making his way through the Gulf of Mexico. Overnight, he intensified to a Category 2. However, he's expected to strengthen to a Cat 3 by the time he hits Florida tomorrow afternoon. Governor Rick Scott is ordering mandatory evacuations for 35 Florida counties from the Panhandle to Tampa Bay. Hurricane Michael is expected to make landfall by tomorrow with wind speeds up to 111 miles per hour. With Michael stirring in the Atlantic, we'll be seeing more scattered rain showers throughout the day and tomorrow. Right now, we're looking at a high of 88, cloudy and breezy outside, but still on those on and off showers throughout the day from the outer bands of Michael. Later tonight, we'll see lows in 75 with a warm breeze, and tomorrow we'll still see the indirect pass of Michael's rain showers with cool breezes throughout the day. Highs will be in the upper 80s at 87 degrees and a low of 76. We'll keep you updated throughout the week on Hurricane Michael and any changes that might occur. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching and make sure to keep up with us throughout the week by following our Twitter page at UCF Nightly News and tune into our webcast this Friday, 1 p.m. on Spectrum Channel 734. I'm Olivia Parsons. Have a great Tuesday.